Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to Karazhan. Well, the return of Karazhan. I hope today you're going to be joining me for a very fun adventure as we're going to be getting out of bounds and we're going to be taking a look at the surrounding area. Come and join me as we take a look through Karazhan Out of Bounds. Another path she should have chosen. So sit and slur, relax a gibbet, enjoy the show that we call Wicked! Elphira, come down from there! You're fluttering about like one of those horrible monkey creatures! We all deserve a chance to fly! Hey, do you really think the wizard will de-greenify me? <laughs> of course, dear. Though that old frog of yours. Oh, look. Some new friends have come to pay us a visit. I don't have any friends. Well, apart from you, Galindra. If you're my friend, you'll make the Hosen get rid of these interlopers. Then we're off to see the wizard. All right. Welcome back, guys. Today, we are obviously in the return to Karazhan dungeon in the legion expansion i'm going to be showing you our first beginning journey of exploring the outside of this map i'm going to be showing you how i personally got out of bounds and uh it's very simple not a hard procedure at all what you're gonna well actually let me tell you where i'm currently at is in the opera hall upstairs i came into the dungeon right over here made my way up here and i'm right in the first room from seeing cadgar over there so i'm just right on the balcony up here now i'm in the corner um of the room here and the reason i'm over here is there's a corner right here where you can actually get right underneath and your person will be there we go we lost the camera the reason we want to lose the camera is because if our character is in view at all like that, the glitch isn't going to work because that means that when you stand up after taking the Vicarral Drinking Horn or the Potion of Giant Growth, uh, it's not going to work. You're going to stand up and you're not going to clip through the wall. So that's the reason why we want to lose our character here. I'm just going to look down and then I'm going to place a Dark Moon Seesaw. All right. And then after I place the Dark Moon Seesaw, we're going to do the Vicarral Drinking Horn. And those of you who are new to the channel, I apologize. I don't pronounce all this stuff correctly. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to jump on it. And there we go. We are officially clipped through the map. So we're going to make our way out this way. And there we go. We are officially out of Karazhan, which is freaking awesome. And I'm going to land right over here on these rocks. And this is exactly where I like to go because this allows me to jump up here. And there we go. As you guys can see, we are officially out of the return to Karazhan. So I am super excited. Let's go take a look at the surrounding area. Now, when we first come out of the map, we can see the Karazhan tower from the back side. It is fully modeled, which is really awesome to see. You can see all the particle effects and everything, the enemies floating around in the in the dungeon. So the dungeon's really big. I mean, it, it's a huge, it's a huge dungeon, right? It has many layers. Um, not as big big well i should say maybe it's even bigger than the old karazhan raid back in um you know back in the other expansion but i don't know i i'm not sure maybe i feel like this one might be a little bigger just because it has that void space but we're going to be getting to all that a little later but let's go take a look around the surrounding area and i'll show you guys the outside now i will warn you here 
when you jump out here, do avoid the ground area here. This is all death right here. If you jump down here, you will die instantly. Trust me, I've tested it multiple times. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way up the rocks here. And we're actually going to come out this way. because This will allow us to jump on the rock. And we're going to lose our drinking horn. There we go. And we're just going to make our way around. Now you can choose to go down here. And you can walk all the way around the map freely. And that's what we're going to go do. Now I'm going to be clipping some of the parts here. Because I don't want you guys to have to watch me walk all the way around but i kind of just want to give you this outside shot of what's actually out here and what they keep also i had mentioned this in my oribos video from the shadowlands i am actually all my armor is gone the reason i do that is what if you're ever doing out of bounds i will say again make sure to remove your armor i mean it's up to you you can keep it if you want but it just helps you with repair cost. If you don't remove your armor, you're going to be dying a lot, especially if you DC or whatever. Um, and that way you'll have to repair your armor. And it just gets expensive, so I always just take it off. So let's go ahead back this way through Deadwind Pass. And let's go see exactly what they keep. Now something really interesting here is they actually don't load in everything right away. If I go walk back over here, then the map will start to load. If I just stand back here, I and I believe they do this for resource purposes, because um, there's no reason to ever load all that back there unless you get close to it, because the player in the Karazhan dungeon will never be able to see it, right? Unless you're actually out of bounds like we're doing now. All right, let's go walk through the spooky forest here. You know, these trees remind me so much of uh, the Wizard of Oz. I'm just waiting for them to grow arms and throw apples at me. <laughs> You guys remember the Twisted Trees and the Wizard of Oz? Alright, let's keep taking our walk stroll here. And let's go make it through. You can see things are finally loading in. Now if we come back here, there we go. It's finally loaded in. That's exactly what I was telling you. Now unfortunately, because we're technically never supposed to leave the dungeon, um, we can't mount up. So we're technically in the dungeon without the game knowing that we're in the dungeon. Or outside the dungeon, I should say. So, yeah, uh, we can't mount up, which is really sad. I always hate when I can't mount up in OOBs, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do. And look at this. They don't really load any of Dustwood in the back here. Now, this is normally where Darkshire is supposed to be. And you can see the farm and all that. You can see, like, the little farm land and stuff. And what's interesting, too, is on the mini-map, it actually shows some of uh, Duskwood and all that. Like, the, you can see the buildings. You guys can barely see that at the top right here. You can see there's buildings here on the map, but they actually don't exist. So, I, I don't know. I thought that was really interesting. So, there goes Dusk, uh, Duskwood. All unloaded, if you ever wanted to see it. Now, look at, look at this. There is a giant piece of land sticking up way in the distance over here, and I have no clue, no idea what it is. I've been wanting to get up there, but I don't think it's it, it's not possible because you would either have to hack or fly or whatever to get up there. So I don't know how to get up there. I don't think it's possible to, but it's kind of neat to see that. Now, I want to give you guys this outside view of the map real quick. So we're going to turn into a Seamus potion. And then we're going to do our selfie camera. And there you go. You can kind of get a good shot of everything. So there it is. Look at that. There goes the... I think it's just other land that's just sticking out. I wish we could zoom in. I wish there was a way to like zoom in the selfie camera. Look at that, though. So you guys kind of get this awesome... It's The map's not very big from the outside from Kara. You can barely just see it. Um, I'm trying to get to an angle where you guys can see, but... It's not going to stay. Unfortunately, when you move your mouse, it's going to like zoom all the way out. So you can kind of get a little bit of makeup of the land that we were looking at that I was telling you that's kind of sticking out in the distance here. And it looks like it's just a bunch of mountainous area that has nothing on it. I mean, I don't know that 100%. If anybody knows exactly what this piece of land is right here, definitely let me know. And I would, I'm very curious. So, all right, our CMS potion's about to run out. So let's actually get out of here and let's continue on our journey of exploring the unloaded in dustwood. <laughs> now over here, this actually looks like the edge of the map. And we're going to keep 
moving our way through Deathwood here. Now look at that. Everything unloaded in the back there. So that's really neat to see. I mean, that's what I was telling you guys. And I think they're doing that to save resources because whatever you're not seeing as a player anyways, you're, I mean, it's going to be unloaded. So right behind us, until we look back there, now it's loaded, right? Until we move our camera. Now let me guys, I'm going to give you guys a giant great view up here of the whole map. Let's go take a look. Sorry, I need something to drink. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar right now. And it's really awesome for those of you who like Dr. Pepper. I definitely recommend the soda. <laughs> it's a really good soda. All right, let's go head out this way. And you guys can kind of get a great view of Karazhan from the distance here. Now, like I said before, unfortunately, we can't actually go down here. Because I would love to go down there on the bottom floor, but we will die. So we're just going to have to have some really awesome... Um, zoom shots here and we're gonna get some style points for doing the double backflip oh okay that's not solid that is like at an angle there but we can yeah we can stand up here now as a demon hunter you should never die by falling now look at this so all of the outside here is modeled but then you come over here and this is all gone because normally you're supposed to be inside right and you're never supposed to see from the outside so if we keep making our way out this way, we can do a full lap here of the uh, surrounding area. Now, unfortunately, I can't go down here. I would love to because I want to go see if the caverns are there or the crypt, I should say. But I don't believe it is. We might die right here. Oh, OK. We saved ourselves. We're good. There we go. All right, we're good. I thought we were going to fall there. That was a little bit of a dramatic jump up, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go head over this way. Now, as we zoomed out of the, self the selfie cam, the selfie camera, the selfie camera, um, we did see that there isn't really much of the surrounding area outside the map here. So unfortunately, they don't keep like uh, Stranglethorn Vale and all that. And what's funny is the original Karazhan, the original raid, I should say, kept a lot outside. I mean, basically all of Duskwood loaded. Uh, if you guys haven't catched or watched my original Karazhan video, I will definitely put that in the description and you guys can go check that out on your own time. Uh, I would appreciate the views. So if you're definitely curious about what the original Karazhan entails outside the map, uh, I do have that up and uh, you can go watch it I'll link it in the description below but uh, yeah guys that's basically about it what's out here on this map not too much uh, and you can see a lot of stuff is unloaded so what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys another part of Karazhan where we can kind of fly around and look at some things and I will be right back it helped, you know we tried to alter it but it was all part of a larger scheme I know. All part of a greater cycle. A cycle that now at last may be broken. I will open the way. While you battle that fiend, I will sever the tower's connection to Legion worlds. I suggest we be quick about it. Alrighty guys, we are back again and we have just defeated the final boss of the dungeon and uh, we are currently in the Legion space or uh, out in space as I should say and uh, I love this outside part because I love the like Legion spaceships and reminds me so much of like Star Trek. <laughs> so for those of you who watched Star Trek growing up, uh, what we're going to do real quick is since we're in kind of a legion space and time here i wanted to find out excuse me and see exactly what is outside these maps so we're going to place a pillow right here and we're going to get out of, okay that didn't work all right let's place it closer <laughs> 
There we go. All right, we're officially out of bounds. Now, we do need to be careful because if I remember correctly, this is all death right here. So we can jump up here, I think. Yeah, we can. We're going to place another pillow down. Or maybe not. Mm. Oh, maybe it doesn't like us coming out here. Well, shoot, man. That was the whole reason why we came out here, game. We want to explore what's out here. I want to get up there is where I want to get. Oh, no, don't fall. Because we were going to die. All right. Uh, Maybe what we can do or what we might be able to do is get on the very edge here. Come on. There we go. And then place it over here, maybe? Ah, okay, maybe. That's still back in bounds. Okay. Well, maybe this is my failed attempt. <laughs> okay, now I know we can walk over here. This is all fine, so you can get a good glimpse of kind of kind of what's going on out here. Um, we don't want to die because it's going to send us back through the dungeon. Um, ooh, look at that. You can kind of see underneath the rock there. That's where we want to get to. And we died. Okay. Well, that's all death. Uh, that's okay. You know what? Actually, this kind of works out perfectly because I want to show you guys how to get back in this room anyway. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. We are back again. And we are behind the final boss room door. Now, if you die in the boss room, there is do not panic. I'm going to show you how to get back in the room. Now, when you guys are doing out of bounds exploration, you can use doorway and archways to your advantage. And the reason you can do that is if we were to get on top of here, there we go. And we were to build a, let's say a seesaw right here. Boom. What we can do is we can grow ourselves, and we can use the same method we used to get out earlier in the beginning of the video up here and that's really simple there we go and now we are officially clipping through the map and there we go look at that and that actually might help us get over to where we wanted to go so let's go see if we can fly through here i'd be kind of curious actually oh crap we might actually drop down now I'm kind of curious of what's back here, so let's just roll with it. If we die, I won't show you guys again. <laughs> and we'll continue on the map, but oh, it's kind of interesting. Oh, cool. We landed. All right. Well, that kind of worked out. Whoa, look at this. We're going to get an awesome view of the uh, backside of the final. Look, we're in like this cool like Legion space area. Can we get to over here? Um. Oh, interesting. It becomes like light. Oh, we're like, are we like in a wall? I don't understand. Where are we? Okay. So far, so good. Oh, we're back in the Guardian's library. Oh, this is awesome. Check this out. All right, I got to get some screenshots. Guys, this is amazing. Look at that view. Mmm, love it. Here, let's go back out this way. So we can kind of see the whole... Oh, we're hitting a wall. Oh, nice. We're at the bottom. You know, I've been wanting to get down here without dying. So now we found a way to get down here. Look at that. Guys, this is awesome. Check this out. Oh, no way. Okay. Ooh. All right. The music stopped. That's eerie. <laughs> that got a little creepy for a minute. Now look at this. Sweet. So now we're finally underneath the Guardian's library without dying. I love it. Got some awesome views going on here. It's like we got heaven poking out of the ceiling here. Check that out. How far can we go down? Now I'm curious. Let's go see if we can head into like this void thing down here. Check out like this whirlpool. It reminds me of the one in. Ah, uh... oh, man, that's awesome. Look at that. Oh, I'm grabbing so many screenshots here because I love it. Well, what's funny is my mistake worked out to work really well. 
Can we get in the middle of this thing? Now I'm curious. You know, it's so awesome to see the things that we find with all of you guys when I'm doing the video. I love it. Look at that. It's all bright. This is really cool. All right. You know, now what I really want to test out is check this out. We're going to do a Seamus potion. We're going to do the... Oh, don't... What did I do? Oh, I'm clicking too fast. Oh, check this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How awesome is that? So cool. I love the Seamus potion camera thing. All right. And we can move around here, too. Can we get some awesome views here? How much can we actually see outside? Mm, maybe not too much, but... Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's go move around. This is so cool. I've been wanting to get down here so bad, but I didn't know how to do it. So, well, that worked out. Now you guys know how to get down here without dying. And uh, that's going to work out pretty good. The only thing is we do have to die because <laughs> we need to continue the video. Because I believe there's going to be more to see after this. So, let's go walk up this way. And it, lo it looks like we're hitting a wall now. Oh, we're stuck in void. Oh, no. Okay. I think we can get out of this. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Woo. Okay, be careful. If you go that way, you're going to hit the edge of the map. So do be careful. But look at that. So awesome, guys. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to go die real quick because we need to continue this video. And I think there's more to see. If not, I'll just tell you, hey, there's no more to see. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back one more time. And look at this. We have defeated the boss that was down there. We have gone up on the Legion spaceship thingy that's up here in the sky. And I've actually turned on a stinky bright potion to lighten up everything around us and the sky box. So you can kind of see on the back side of the dungeon here what we were looking at originally. So this map is actually pretty big for the most part. Uh, the second part of this dungeon. I mean, gosh, there's a lot to see here. Now, I do want to go fly back here and fly around, but it's just going to take us back to the Guardian's Library, which we already were. So there's really no reason to do it. Um, but I'm going to end the video here, and I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel. All of you guys are just absolutely amazing. Love every single one of you. I All the support you guys give me every day is just absolutely incredible. We've grown over, over 150 members in the Discord ATN channel. If you haven't joined the ATN Discord, I highly recommend you do. We have a lot of fun in there. And uh, it's growing every day. We're going to head back up here real quick. And this whole spaceship is walkable, by the way. Oh, but it looks like we're taking damage, though. Sleeping fell power. All right. So it doesn't like us outside the map. Well, screw you too, Blizzard. But there you guys go. That is exactly what's outside of the Return of Karazhan. If we take the portal, is it just going to take us to the Legion Dollar and That's it. I'm assuming, right? I haven't done this dungeon in forever, so. Yeah. All right. We're back in Dollar <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate all your support. And uh, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.